welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. We have another video in our Clean Eating 101 series. Today, we are going to be talking sugar. All things sugar and sweeteners, what to buy and what to avoid. This is the one question that I have gotten so many times since I transitioned to clean eating. And that is, what are you doing in replacement of sugar? What types of sweetener should I buy and look for on ingredient labels? And what types of sweetener should I stay away from? So I am here to answer all of your pressing questions as far as sugar goes. We're gonna talk about what sugars to absolutely avoid in ingredient labels as well as in their raw form and also what types of sugars we should be purchasing and sugar alternatives are clean and safe and our body knows how to work them and process them. So if you want to hear about sugar, all things sugar, just keep watching. On a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. First, I want to talk about your traditional white table sugar. And in the white table sugar arena falls things such as sugar in the raw and turbinado sugars. These are all highly processed white sugar. In order to get the brown coloring, they'll add things such as molasses or coloring enhancers like caramel coloring to the sugar, which none of that you want to process and eat. So in your first, body. we are going to talk about your traditional table sugar, your white table sugar. And this also includes sugar in the raw and turbinado sugar. Don't let the raw and the turbinado fool you. These are still your traditional white sugars and they should be avoided. The reason that white sugar or table sugar is so bad for you is it kills the good bacteria in your gut. Therefore, when you are eating these sugars, your gut has to work extra hard to process them. And most of the time, it kills off all of the good bacteria and introduces the not so good bacteria into your gut. So that is the main reason to stay away from your white or your table sugars. Secondly, white sugar will fuel the cells in your body that produce cancer. So it's so important to feed your body with whole natural ingredients so that you aren't making yourself more susceptible to diseases and things such as cancer and gut related issues and high blood pressure and high elevated sugar levels and diabetes. All of these things are fueled by white sugar. So it's important that you completely eliminate that out of your diet. But what do you replace your traditional white sugar with? Well, there are some great sugar alternatives on the market. Number one, and the most popular and the most beneficial and good for you clean eating sugar alternative is going to be monk fruit. You guys know I love my monk fruit sweetener. You can buy the big bag at Costco for such an incredible price. It is a mix of monk fruit and erythritol, but it is a clean whole sugar alternative. It's a great option for you. They make a powdered sugar blend and a golden blend. And then my favorite is just your traditional white granulated sugar blend. Great for baking, adding in your coffee, just using as a sweetener. Stevia is another great option for a sugar alternative. Stevia comes in the granulated form and it also comes in little droppers with flavoring. Stevia is a great option as a sugar alternative. Most of these are one-to-one -one ratio for your traditional white table sugar, but your body knows what to do with these and how to digest these sugars. So if you're going to eliminate white sugar and you want an alternative or a zero point or a zero or low calorie alternative, stick with monk, monk fruit or stevia. But the best replacement for a white sugar is going to be coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is made from the palm of the coconut. It is clean, whole food. Your body knows how to digest it. It is going to have the same smart points as traditional white sugar. But if you don't wanna give up your sugar, you don't have to on WW. Just replace it with coconut sugar. It tastes so good, it's so sweet. I've been loving just one teaspoon of coconut sugar in my coffee with my creamer in the morning and it only cost me one smart point. And it's a clean, delicious sugar alternative. You can find this pretty much at any grocery store. Also, if you can find date sugar in your area, date sugar is another great replacement for your traditional white table sugar. I find this mainly at health food stores if you have a Sprouts or Whole Foods in your area, or for me, I don't have either one of those stores, so I find this at my natural grocers or any of my local organic natural food stores. So date sugar does have points, but it is just made from dates. So again, it's low on the glycemic index and your body knows how how to process it. Now let's talk about a few other sugar alternatives to absolutely steer clear of. Number one is going to be malitol. 
if you are not regular, TMI, Malitol is a good option for you because it has a diuretic effect to it. It is terrible. It spikes your blood sugar. You find Malitol in a lot of chocolatey types of treats. That It is not a clean eating option for a sugar alternative. And it's one of the worst as far as digestive and, and bathroom issues. So steer clear of Malitol. Erythritol is also a no. Now the monk fruit is mixed with Erythritol. The way that it is mixed makes that monk fruit okay. But if you are buying a strict Erythritol, it's not one of the best options. Is it better than white sugar or Malitol? Absolutely. But I would use it as a last resort of a sugar alternative. I would lean more towards your monk fruit sweeteners or your stevia before you purchase your erythritol. Another note is xylitol. Not only is xylitol completely deadly to pets in a small, small amount, xylitol is a chemical sugar alternative. Your body does not know how to process it and it spikes your blood sugar. So xylitol, even in gum form, is a no. Now, if you are going to be chewing a gum that has aspartame or or xylitol pick the one that has xylitol but i highly recommend again steering clear of xylitol and choosing either the monk fruit or the stevia your equals your sweet and lows absolutely not those have a spare time in them which is a chemical which your body absolutely does not know what to do with it is foreign to your body your body does not process it it is terrible for you it is what is found in equal and sweet and low so those are an absolute automatic out now if you're looking for a packet of sugar alternative you can go with whole earth whole earth is a great option for a sugar alternative most starbucks have these so make sure if you're ordering a drink at starbucks you're asking for whole earth in replacement of the sweet and low or the equals whole earth has great ingredients and is pretty clean as far as a packet sugar alternative you also want to stay away from Splenda Splenda is made from sucralose sucralose is a chemical that spikes your blood sugar and again your body doesn't know how to process these these sugar alternatives so steer clear of all of those and again monk fruit stevia that's where you want to be spending your zero calorie or low calorie sweetener alternative or coconut sugar. That's where you want to put your money when it comes to sugar and sugar alternatives. And the last one that I want to touch briefly on that is a no is Swerve. Now Swerve has a horrible cooling effect. It's it's terrible. I bought Swerve because I thought that it was a great alternative, but I can't get past the cooling effect. Swerve is not a clean food and Swerve should also be avoided. Sorry to say. Now, if you're not 100% clean eating, you can pick and choose from these sweetener alternatives, but I just wanted to share with you the ones that are the cleanest and the ones that are best for your body to process. So now let's move into what about real sweetener alternatives that aren't sugar honey is an excellent sugar alternative but honey can be a little bit tricky you want to buy organic raw honey trader joe's has a great one costco has a stellar price on organic raw honey what you want to stay away from is pasteurized honey this is just your traditional honey that you find in your local grocery store yes the little bear is awfully cute but that is pasteurized honey and studies have shown that a lot of this honey is coming overseas from china and it's not actually honey honey from honeybees nope it's rice syrup so basically it's a processed sugar that they're calling honey by adding some honey coloring to it so steer clear of that always purchase organic raw honey if you can't find organic make sure that you are buying raw honey also maple syrup real organic pure maple syrup is a great sweetener option now with honey and maple syrup a little bit goes a long ways yes you're going to have to count points for it but it's real whole food that your body knows how to process. Some of my favorite syrup options are the Trader Joe's Vermont Pure Maple Syrup or really any type of organic maple syrup. Again, Costco has some great options. Your local health food store is going to have some great options. Trader Joe's and Costco, I find to be the most cost-effective way to purchase maple syrup. And again, it goes a long ways, but it's an all natural sweetener that your body knows how to process. So what you want to avoid when it comes to maple syrup is sugar-free and the regular conventional maple syrup, like the Aunt Jemima's, the Mrs. Butterworth that you buy in your grocery store, because most of these are made with corn syrup and they have caramel coloring which is an artificial coloring that isn't even needed in food that they put in things like maple syrup one thing that we tend to classify as a healthy 
maple syrup alternative is agave. Now agave is a no-go, my friends. You want to steer clear of agave because it spikes your blood sugar just like traditional white table sugar. Isn't that crazy? So maple syrup, honey, they don't spike your blood sugar. They're low on the glycemic index, but agave is just like eating traditional white table sugar. It really, really spikes your blood sugar. So you wanna stay away from any type of agave or agave syrup, whether it's organic or conventional. And the last sugar alternative that I want to share with you that is a great option for brown sugar alternative. First, let's talk brown sugar, my friends. Brown sugar is simply white table sugar with molasses added to make it brown. So it is terrible for you because not only does it have white table sugar, it also has molasses. Now, if you're going to buy molasses, the only kind that you should be buying is a black strap molasses. This is a clean molasses. I've seen this at places like Trader Joe's and health food stores, but your brown sugar that you buy off of the shelf is made with just regular conventional corn syrupy, not good for you molasses. So the best brown sugar alternative and lucky for us Weight Watchers, it is zero calories and zero smart points is going to be sucrine gold. Sucrine gold is an amazing brown sugar alternative. It does not have any cooling effect. It is so good. It's clean, clean, clean. You can buy sucrine gold off of the Nettrition website. There's a link down below for Nettrition. I'll put it in the description box. Just click it. Head over to Nettrition. There's lots of great clean eating options on there, but one thing you can find is the Sucrine Gold. Also, as a second or a backup to Sucrine Gold, you can buy the Monk Fruit or the Lakanto Golden. This is another good brown sugar alternative, but best in class is going to be the Sucrine Gold. And you guys know that's the one that I always use or for the most part use when I am leaning towards a brown sugar alternative. So I wanna give a quick kind of honorable mention, so to speak, to coffee flavored syrup. I know that is huge in the Weight Watchers community when it comes to something to add to our coffee. So things such as skinny syrups or Tarani or Da Vinci sugar-free syrups, steer clear my friends most of these syrups are actually all of these syrups are made with either sucralose or which is splenda or they're made strictly with splenda now again splenda is a chemical your body does not know how to process it and it spikes your blood sugar your insulin levels it's very high on the glycemic index so i recommend that you steer clear of any type of flavored coffee syrup if you're really trying to eliminate not good for you sugar alternatives from your diet i know it's a sad day, but I did mention in previous videos that I've been doing creamer with a little bit of coconut sugar or monk fruit, and you can add you know, a little vanilla extract to get some flavoring. And there's also some good for you or good coffee creamers that are flavored out on the market. So steer clear of the skinny syrups and all of those coffee syrups. All right, friends, that's it for this edition of Clean Eating 101 all things sugar. I love me some sugar. So I was really excited to do a little bit of research and come up with some what to buy and what to avoid when it comes to sugar. So I hope that this helped you out. Again, you can find most of these at your local grocery store, your health food store, such as your Sprouts and your Whole Foods, and a lot of great options at your local Costco or Sam's Club. So check those out before you go spend a little bit extra for these sugar alternatives. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. This is part of my Clean Eating 101 series. About a month ago, I switched over to Clean Eating on WW and I'm here to show you how you can eat real food and still stay within your smart points budget and see better bigger losses on the scale and just feel better in your body overall so today's sugar video is a definite must take note write these down add these great options to your next grocery list please make sure that you are subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video I'd love it if you thumbs up this one if you're loving this clean eating series and comment down below let me know what did I share with you today that you had no idea that you have in your pantry that needs to go in your trash can and what some good alternatives are when it comes to sugar. Thank you guys again so much for spending some time with me today and for being part of my YouTube friends and family. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.